Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now a great honor to introduce you to a group of distinguished American dignitaries who have dedicated themselves to the cause of a free and democratic Iran. Please join me in welcoming these esteemed friends and allies of the Iranian people who will be represented by the Honorable Louis Free, the former director of the FBI, and the Honorable Michael McCasey, the former U.S. Attorney General. Let's give them a huge warm welcome. Please welcome, joining the U.S. delegation, Ambassador Lincoln Bloomfield, former Special Envoy and Assistant Secretary of State, the Honorable Linda Chavez, former Assistant to the President for Public Liaison and Chairman of the Center for Equal Opportunity, the Honorable Louis Free, the former Director of the FBI, General James Jones, former USMC Commander, NATO Commander and National Security Advisor to the President, the Honorable Patrick Kennedy, former U.S. Congressional Representative for Rhode Island, the Honorable Joseph Lieberman, former U.S. Senator for Connecticut, Colonel Wes Martin, U.S. Army, former Senior Anti-Terrorism Officer of Coalition Forces Iraq, the Honorable Michael B. McCasey, former U.S. Attorney General, Brigadier General David Phillips, former U.S. Military Commander for Camp Ashraf, Ambassador Mitchell Reese, former Special Envoy to the Northern Ireland Peace Process, and finally General Charles Chuckwald, former Deputy Commander of the U.S. European Command. Thank you very much, and we're delighted and honored to be here. You have uh, an incredible U.S. delegation. Just as wonderful, you have an outstanding international delegation, and we're very happy and proud, Mana Mirjavi, to be here again with you in Paris to mark a great milestone in the fight for freedom. We want to send very brief messages, first of all, to everyone here, our friends, but also to uh, You've been, as Senator Liebman said, fantastic in the back there. We thank you so much for your energy and your support. <laughs> terrific, absolutely terrific. And of course, to our colleagues and friends uh, on the streets of Paris today, the Freedom Fighters, the resistance units, absolutely incredible images and representing courage of, uh, of deep and principled convictions, and of course to the demonstrators and the young women and men, but particularly the young women who we admire. You have uh, here on stage actually several hundred years of government experience, military, political, law enforcement, judicial, and Mana Mirjavi, we stand by you for many, many reasons, but you know that you have been for us a hero and inspiration and a reason to act and fight. We thank you so much. Uh, my friend and colleague, uh, Judge McKenzie, is going to present a letter to Madam Rajavi, which she's already seen, but we wanted to do it in this group. And it's a letter signed by dozens of American officials, most of everyone on the stage here. Uh, telling you from our heart what we believe and what we feel and how we respect and admire what you're doing and how optimistic we are about this fight. The regime is uh, a little bit like, uh, in my experience as a prosecutor, we used to call it a continuing criminal enterprise, right? And it's run by gangsters and they have their own rules, but at some point that enterprise caves in and collapses on the weight of its own evil, and particularly here because the regime has lost the confidence of the Iranian people, political confidence, economic confidence, and moral confidence. Uh, we want to thank all of you here for your support and your representation. We want to thank all of the friends of the NCRI and the MEK. We want to thank the Albanian government because that was the only country that stepped forward to rescue and protect when they were being massacred in Iraq. We want to also thank our Department of State. If you remember, then 
Deputy, uh, Deputy Secretary Blinken and Ambassador Weiner were the architects from the U.S. side of getting that uh, incredibly difficult negotiation and relocation done. So we want to thank them also today. Um, 